What's back, YouTube? It's Vumbi Reacts back again with another reaction. We got Evil Gangsters on Beyond <laughs> Scared Straight. Hey, man. Beyond Scared Straight is one of the reasons why you gotta look twice before you do some stupid shit. Because you know, like, hey, that prison lifestyle ain't for everybody. It's not for me. It's not for me. You know, a lot to you. I don't imagine being in prison. I don't want to go to prison. I don't even think about prison. Shows like this is one of the reasons why. Like, bro, the way living in cages, being told to wake up every second. Ah, man, that ain't it. Anyways, man, do me a favor. If this is your first time on here, man, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. We're trying to reach 1K. And then um, leave your thoughts in the comment section if you want me to react to any uh, particular video. This is the first Beyond Scare Straight video I'm doing. So if you guys like this, uh, like the video to show that you guys want to see more of this, and then we'll go from there. Now, let's get into it. When every kid believes they are the most brutal gangster on the street, or wherever they came from, there is a more devilish gangster in prison. Mm -hmm. See through as these gangsters bring on the Beyond Scared Straight program. Come on, what y'all doing? Yeah, don't be scared now. Have a seat. Have a seat. Eat your food. Oh, sit down. Come on, let's go. Come on, sit down. Come on, sit down. Come on, sit down. Hey, you, you sit right over here. Now I need everybody to try that. Everybody. That's what we gotta go for every day. Every day. Don't spin it up, chew it. Things almost got mean for a chubby Caucasian male on his prison tour. He was shown his part should he find himself in a prison cell. Oh. I feel like that's one sad thing about this show, man. It's like, as much as these dudes want to be scared, like, want to be, like, scary and, like, you know, be crazy. Some of, hey, some of them is crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. I see some crazy niggas they had to pull away from. But it's like, some of these dudes, they really, like, they see these these little kids as like yo this mother like these kids still have another chance and they have here screwing up and I don't have that chance no more and when you're in that position like yo you know you ain't got that chance no more but you know you could still be a light for somebody else man that's crazy if you, got you have anger somebody, problems, this is where you take care of your anger problems. You're going to take care of it right here. Ain't no police and nothing going to see it. So you ain't going to have no help. And once they throw that up, probably, you, get out, man, see man. you get raped in her or anything. Oh, and they ain't going to do nothing to it. They, they can't see you getting on camera, bro. So why you doing the things you're doing, man? Okay. I'll be honest. I can't tell you why. I'll be honest with you, I, I cannot tell you <laughs> <Yeah, not> The <laughs> stage is for the kids to have a live experience of what the prisoners eat, a cursed meal on its own. But one gangster prisoner could not take their eyes off the fresh meat on David and made sure he traumatized David's innocent mind. 13 years in penitentiary, grand theft auto, stealing, mm. shoplifting, malicious wounding. I've did over 39 years in penitentiary, maybe going back right now again. Damn. Guess why, you want to know? Being stupid, Ant. GTA. That's what I'll call you, Ant. Also, I'm a Satan's disciple. That means there is no God in my eyes. After I have you busted up, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna drink some of your blood. Many times, we have encountered the inmate, Petty Larceny, okay. whom his gang subordinates simply call Psycho. Despite his seemingly innocent appearance, Psycho has a lengthy rap sheet with over 39 years of prison time under his belt for his psychotic ways of dealing with people who offend him. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, nah, bruh. Hell to the fuck no. Nah, bruh. This is, hey, this is why I watch shows like this, bro. Niggas be like, bro, what the fuck you doing watching that? I'm like, yo, because I don't ever want to be him that, hey. What they say, a fool learns from his own mistakes. A smart man learns from other people's mistakes. That's what I'm doing right now. Because they know it. How the f God damn it. But yeah, hell, bro, I'm telling you right now, like, good life lessons, bro. You don't ever want to be put in that type of position, especially if you're not if you're not built like that. That black dude with the little dreads, he probably been in that lifestyle. He's seen some shit. But that little racist white dude, <laughs> he was quick to comb in that nigga's hair. Hell no, nah, bro. If you're not built for that shit, bro, yo, hey. A hard head makes a soft ass. They say that all the time. That's the problem. We give you everything you need. We give you everything you want. She's a privileged little girl. She feels like everything belongs to her, bro. 
how you raise your kids does matter. Like, bro, you can't just provide. Like, yeah, as a parent, you got to do the necessities. Like, you got to do the stuff that matters. But you cannot just, your kid tells you everything. Like, oh, hey, uh, I need this, I need that. Sometimes you got to teach your kids rejection. You got to say no to your kids. You got to, because that's, the real world is like that. The real world isn't just going to hand you everything. And these kids that are handed everything, they start to build some type of entitlement and they feel like everything belongs to them, which is why she's doing what she's doing, which is crazy. You're going to get caught. Mm -hmm. This is where you're going to be sitting. Who would believe that the darkest these gangsters in the pod possess will bring the light out of the kids? And it is the best thing in there. Coco. I'm 15, I got eight felonies, and I'm facing a lot of trouble. Damn. I've been to juvenile 12 times. I've been charged with aggravated assault for shooting yeah, at a police be. officer. I got to go to court. This say Young Brew. Young Brew is a gang that I'm in. It's affiliated with blood. I swear to God, I'm going to run away from your ass. I'm not going to never come back. Boss, some real blood. I'm tired of you. Oh, blood. Oh, my life. It's on my soul. Oh, you blood. You want to be hardcore. We go right around the corner, and I'll take all the off my waist and we'll step in that room when nobody's at and I want you to be hardcore. Those kids on the street corner don't give a about you. You're replaceable. They'll find another one tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Because they don't care enough about you. But yeah, that's who you roll with and that's what you die for. Coco claims to be 15, but has the gangster record of a 40 year old. Coco is Damn. living proof that gangster culture is diabolical and he has almost gotten himself attacked by a rival crew during his tour of prison. Take your soul, you know that, right? Yeah, I know we can. Why, why would you want to take my soul? That man will rip your face off and wipe his ass with it. Why, why, why would he do that? Why would he do that? What I do? Why wouldn't he do that? All right, check this out. Look, you want a honey bun? Yes. Yeah. They put five dollars on your butt. Five dollars. Would you beat his ass for five dollars? Hell yeah. Beat that for five dollars, boy. That's why he would do it. They don't. Damn. So this just. This just like. At the end of the day, we humans is animals, bro. Like we. <laughs> We animals, bro, because there's no way, like, at the end of the day, like, when you put pe certain people in certain circumstances, like, circumstances, like, in people who go to prison, they turn back into their animalistic nature, like, that's exactly what this is, like, this tribalism, gangs, all this stuff, like, when people got nowhere to go, it's this tribalism, gangs ain't nothing but the same, bro, what's the difference between a gang and a tribe in Africa, bro? It's all about survival, it's all about, hey, survival of the fittest. Darwinism, bro. It's that's that's all it is, and yeah, man. He probably if they don't really evaluate this dude, he probably he probably in jail right now. Jesus blood, no beef. There you go again. There you go again with that stupid. There you go again. His having to say something killed. smart ass. You acting like a little anyway. You can't even say it loud enough for somebody to hear you. It will whip your ass just because you don't know how to close your mouth. Just because you say yes sir, no sir, doesn't mean you learn anything about respect. Coco mm -hmm. did not understand the trouble he had himself in being in prison. Even as a visitor, a gangster is boiling up to finish him off for being rivals without meeting before. At this point, Coco began realizing the dangers of his gangster affiliation. I say on the right they gonna lay your ass down for playing. You yeah, don't do this. Cool. Yeah, that's crazy man, cause what's a joke to you is not a joke to somebody else. Shit like that will get you killed. Yeah. yeah. All right, man, that is the video right there. <laughs> Beyond scared straight. Hey, man. Yeah, watch this type of stuff to, like, you know, show why you don't want to be in them positions, man. You don't want to be in them positions. That stuff is like, bro, once you're in there, you're an animal. And the, the way the system is, is, like, they got so many riddles and the way they, so many ways, like, yo, you get in there, you get into a fight, they extend your, your sentence to a certain degree. Like, bro, there are so many ways for them to, like, it's like a chain, it's like a snowball effect. You might go in there for some, like, small shit, and that might trickle to some years on your, on your shit, bro. And then you stuck in there when you went in there for, like, some possession of, like, marijuana or some shit like that. So it's like, man... Just stay safe out there, man. If this is your first time on this channel, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. We're trying to hit 1K. And uh, a lot of my viewers aren't subscribed. I would really appreciate if you guys subscribe, man. It really helps out and shows that, you know, the growth of the channel. But do me a favor, man. See you in the next video. And uh, peace.